I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe it came from you. I'm gonna write words all so sweet. They're gonna let me on my feet. I love the Monday morning and it's another week of a vlog so um long time no see <laughs> I guess when I upload this I would be like in like a month of a hiatus on YouTube um there have been a lot of stuff going on I was pretty busy and I was really in no mood for um, making content so I'm very sorry for the hiatus and it's almost the final, like, it's the finals in like a month and I still need to pass the tests and whatever. Um, <laughs> so it's a bit hectic, but since I couldn't make it up to everybody with my vlogs or whatever content that you guys are waiting for, I just decided to um, be a bit more vigilant and do a little bit of a vlog break. <laughs> my life so far has been okay, I guess. I'm doing schoolwork and just taking care of myself, my family, my people I love around me. And it's been fine, it's been fine. Um, <laughs> I look a little tired right now, <laughs> but I'm just trying to get that morning glow. There's the sun right over there and hopefully I wake up with my morning coffee. <laughs> Today, is the beginning of school after a one week vacation that we had because of covid we had to reschedule the vacation so it was supposed to be next week but since there was like the confinement and everything the school decided to make it a little bit early like two weeks early <laughs> so that was my unexpected holiday of one week wow generous <laughs> But I'm so happy with what I've got, like, at least it gave me time to think and rest and heal a bit, I guess, from everything that has been going on in my life. I feel like I've been struggling a lot with um, lack of motivation. I'm guessing it's probably spring. <laughs> I usually have these kind of lack of motivation when it's spring because it's almost summer and and you think you're done with the second semester when you're actually not and i feel like i tend to just like forget about things and like just think about summer <laughs> like it started small like um eh, i'll do it later and stuff but then it just gradually got very big and it was to the point where i'm just like what the fuck is wrong with me <laughs> i guess everybody at some point goes through this point like, I know it's not like bad bad, but I still need to pick myself up and I still need to go through with it. Otherwise, there's not going to be any progress and I'm not going to evolve as a person. And I'm always about changing, but I feel like these last few months I've been very uh, stuck in a rut. Um, really not doing anything and not really, not even bothering to grow as a person. I still journal and everything, but I don't think journaling actually makes you grow. It's the mindset that you want to grow makes you grow. So that's my morning rant. <laughs>
but um yeah i still have a lot of projects that i want to do for youtube and for school i also have to plow through the second semester till the end i only have like four or five weeks until the vacation like the actual vacation for summer um i'm pretty excited i'm not sure when i'm going back to korea but going back to korea really depends on like if I take an internship here or there. Not even sure if I'm gonna get one like at all. With the time, it's very complicated and nothing's sure. So that's very sad. If I don't go back to Korea early, I'll probably just like try and, you know, go outside of Paris a bit and see something that I've never seen before. Since I haven't really gotten the chance to go out of Paris a lot. And plus, I don't even go out of my house that much. So that's a, that's a problem. <laughs> so to get out of my demotivational rut, I tried waking up at 6.30. I totally failed because I went to sleep too late last night. But it's okay. I woke up um like an hour late. I, I guess I failed my morning exercise, but that's okay. I can still do it tomorrow and at least I am woken up, I am cleaned up and I have my little coffee and I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> so my Monday, I guess um, this Monday is a bit chatty, not like um, other usual Mondays. Um, I just wanted to take my time to actually like feel the morning and also I hope you guys are well um, The weather is starting to clear in Paris and with that I hope everybody who is you know in a situation like mine or who are having trouble I hope the warmth actually gets you up again, you know, so we can start running again I'm not saying that life is supposed to be like a constant sprint because it's not like people fall down and sometimes it's very hard to actually get up and, you know, just be okay with it. Sometimes you take time to get up. Sometimes you just like lay on the ground, like, fuck it. But as long as you don't give up completely, I think it's fine. I think it's just, it's life, things happen and it's not, and it's not bad. I try to think that. Ooh, there's sunlight. <laughs> Well, this week we have like a full week of workshop. So we are making models, like modules, models, maquette of like a body part that we chose. I chose the hippocampus because I don't know, it just feels very poetic to do something with the hippocampus because it's where you have all the endorphins and all your memories inside. I think as like a soul, the hippocampus is very important. We have to bring in a lot of materials to uh, make the models so we can be very creative and I really needed that I think because I feel like I was always stuck in that corporate educational kind of creation where I'm just I just have a lot of limits I have a lot of things to do and I maybe I didn't like that subconsciously I'm not sure um speaking of subconsciousness I think there is a lot of things that I'm going through subconsciously that I am not fully aware consciously <laughs> i think there's a lot of things that my subconscious is trying to tell me um whether or not i need sports whether or not i need to clear my mind or whether i need to work i feel like my subconscious has been manifesting a lot lately and so i'm really trying to understand what my body and my mind is going through i guess the more you know the more you discover yourself you get to understand little by little so that's um that's my process in it <laughs> oh the, the sun's getting strong and i think that's my cue to go so the day starts i am at school like always and i start working <laughs> i'm really invested in the glue gun spider web kind of texture so that's what i'm doing for the whole week I love doing repetitive manual work from time to time because I keep producing and producing but I can listen to a podcast or watch a film at the same time. For the whole week, I was listening to a horror podcast and honestly, it only works because I'm in broad daylight. <laughs> During the break, I saw my friend in photo video who was practicing her film camera and we got some crepes and sat on the campus. The weather was wonderful, by the way. <laughs> And back to work.
I was also braiding some packaging plastic sheets. I'm not sure where this is going, but I still made a lot, so you know, I might use them just in case. So the day is over, I'm headed home, but I did some groceries before going back home. I, I got some little um, pango chocula and some croissant. So that is for breakfast. And I got a bunch of meat and some milk, some juice. I got some yogurt. It's been a while since I have had yogurt. So why not? God. I'm really tired. Greetings to you on this fine Tuesday. I start off the day with a little bit of meditation and also a little bit of workout. So I guess it's another typical Tuesday. I have to go to school until 9. I have my tea and I got these babies fresh from the oven for the pizza. Honestly, I'm not really used to the sunlight hitting me at all because during all of winter there was like almost no sunlight. So that basically really sucked. So I think I literally just forgot about the sun existing and like actual sunlight being here every morning i know it's going to rain at some point and all but still i think i'm just getting used to actually getting back to a daily routine again have school and everything and you know like on top of that i decided to have a, a morning routine and an evening routine i might make that into a video why not um i'm just trying to really be productive and healthy as i say that i'm eating a croissant <laughs> but anyways i'm trying to exercise more i'm trying to loosen up my body so that i'm more flexible i just want to be organized in general so i guess that's my main goal i'm also trying to sleep early and wake up early and that way i see more sunlight <laughs> So I actually subscribed to the city bike system yesterday, which is called Velib. And honestly, I was really scared of bikes in Paris and even to ride one actually because traffic is so complicated and I feel like I'm really going to get hit at some point. But <laughs> I tried it out. Um, from my school to my place, there I forgot that there was like a huge hill that I had to just go upwards for like five minutes. I had a very heavy bag and I was just, I was just dying, but, but I think that's probably because I didn't exercise in like a month, <laughs> but yeah, um, the workshop is pretty chill. Like we just have like a huge assignment to do until Friday and that's it. Like the professor is super cool and like he's super chill. I'm really happy with this workshop because it's not like, it's not like somebody's watching you behind your back like constantly to, to see what you're doing can do whatever you want and This morning I'm riding the bike to school but I was so tired from the uphill to the school that I just had to catch my breath for a few minutes outside. I found Vanessa so we stalled a bit of time before going to our classes.
<laughs> I'm still doing the same thing as yesterday and some of my other classmates are also making some cool stuff as well. <laughs> Lunchtime was pretty good. It was really sunny, almost like summer, so we mingled a bit under the sun, took a little nap before going back to work. After school, me and my friends wanted to get some fries for a snack, so I took a little walk with Audrey to get some for the whole group. They were really good, by the way. Hi guys! We are going to school. It is Wednesday and... um. I'll stop dealing that way because I am already late. It's another day, nothing special, but... I'm in a good mood. Let's go. Today is no different than yesterday. We do our thing. It's chill, we eat lunch, and we go back to work. Sorry guys, no Thursday this time. It was pretty much the same, so no fun in that. The middle of the weeks are kind of always like very mundane, so I didn't really want to put them in. <laughs> Friday started off great. We had to go see some projects for the sonography third years, so everyone in the class decided to take the bike to Bois Vincennes where the projects were in lieu. It was a one hour bike ride, but it was still fun to do it with friends. The projects were really great and I was so excited to learn that I'll be doing this kind of stuff next year. Thank you. 
After the presentations from the third years, our class sprawled a bit on the park lawn and ate some snacks. I took a slushie for myself and damn how I forgot about the taste and also how I forgot how much Bois de was so pretty. <laughs> and to top it off, it is Sunday my friends. Hello. Hello. I'll have a party in in April. <laughs> so yeah, we have a raclette party at Udre's place and I know it's April and raclette is for the winter. Some might say it's a crime, but there's no crime in good food. We went to Parc Montsouris, which was pretty close, so we went there to get a little bit of sunlight. People were everywhere though, so me and Alex didn't stay very long. <laughs> so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bisous!